This is Katie. I'm down at the garden with some ladies from St. Margaret's and today we're going to be starting some basil and cilantro. So I made handouts for y'all. Um, yeah. So, so we knew what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. So Teresa doesn't go fast. <laughs> Do you, want, do you want me to take your plants for you? Oh, and mine. Oh, here, yeah, we'll put them. You work well together. You work well together. So, basically, what you got here is um, recipes. So, in case you weren't sure what to do with basil, my favorite thing is to make pesto. Have you guys ever made pesto before? No. Well, no? no? Oh my gosh. It's I probably eat it every day last summer because we had so much basil down here. And it's so easy to make. You just use um, basil and nuts and olive oil and that's like really it. So do you guys have a food processor? <laughs> yeah? Okay. So if you have a food processor or a blender, you just mix it in there and you put it on sandwiches or Pasta, it's super good on pasta. It's oh, yeah. so good. So you guys are gonna have plenty of pesto. Um, and then the other recipe for the cilantro is just um, salsa. So I know we all like salsa. And it's also, cilantro is really good for Mexican food. Um, and I think Asian food too. A lot of ingredients. Um, yeah. So what we're gonna do is we got some potting soil here and we're gonna just fill it up. So potting soil is really awesome because it has extra nutrients um, to help the plants grow stronger. And since they're just gonna be living in little pots, they need all the help they can get. So we're gonna fill up the pots about two thirds of the way, and then we'll put seeds in and then put another layer on top. So we'll be able to keep the um, plants in these pots? Or are they gonna have to move? No, I picked these because they're gonna be perfect for staying. Okay. What kind of soil is this? I mean, are you, are you pine soil and stuff for my plants? Or is this like the same? Yeah, it is. It's, it's just an organic, all natural type of pine soil. Is organic better? Yeah. 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 I use like American Pro. I thought you were using my girls. Yeah. yeah. No, I, just I mean, it helps them grow better, but it's not necessarily good for you. Oh, so my eyes is okay for the plants. Yeah, but then again, you're also you have to think about with your ivies, like you know the water is draining out into the lakes and stuff. Fish is exposed. So there's kind of a broader picture. Right. I should just yeah, yeah, wear one. There isn't really the point. Yeah, I'll fill it for you. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just, well, but then oh, eventually you know, one of those is mine. One of those is yours. Okay. Well. basil so we're going to use the bigger pot for the basil because they're going to grow bigger so we want to give them a little more room um will it make a lot does anyone want to do a third we have an extra for cc oh here i'll go there. yeah let's do a third i think that would be good for basil. Your plant. well yeah <laughs> and she doesn't like cilantro. will these make a lot um i mean we can only do so much in this we can well, do more but like will they yield yeah 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 they're really cool because you can pick from them every week and they'll just keep producing. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 yeah, these are awesome ones. I'll talk about that later, but cilantro and basil will just keep producing because you can have them. You can really put basil in yeah. on tomatoes just together. And cheese. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, so go ahead and take, I would say we'll do about five or four of these and you want to just spread them out across the um, pot and then we're going to cover them just a really thin layer because um, odds are all of them are not going to grow so we got to do a couple to make sure but they're going to get really big so we're only going to want about two in here but we'll do four just in case we don't have really grow. so just go ahead and take four of the seeds and then kind of spread them out we're using the small bucket or the little bucket the big the yeah, small or the little what Mm -hmm. 
probably six. I just um, got a pinch, so whatever was in my pinch. So when they start growing, if it, all of yours happen to, the words germinate, if they actually grow, um, if yours happen to do that, then you want to just pull them because they'll compete against each other and won't get very big and we just want to have a few that get really big. So only have two in the pot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 Okay, and so then let's take, yeah, just cover it with about half an inch of soil, so just like a very little thin layer, because you don't want it be, to be too hard for them to burst up above the soil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where do those seeds go? Okay. One more. Cool. Um, and so then. With the basil, the basil is going to be the easier one to maintain and grow um, compared to the cilantro. The cilantro is going to need a little bit more work. But I wrote down the highlights under basil of just the things you got to remember as you're um, tending to it. So basil likes a lot of sunlight. So if you guys can think of a ledge in your room that you can put on that has the most sunlight. Um, and in comparison, cilantro is going to want like about half a day's worth of sun. So don't put them next to each other. Put the cilantro somewhere where it'll have less um, sunlight. What about like indirect sunlight? Yeah, see, that's good. Oh, just perfect. Yeah. Put the cilantro off. off of that makes sense. You just want to well, give it as much as you can. <laughs> but if it's indirect sunlight, that'll be fine. Yeah. Too. But if it's indirect sunlight, that'll be fine. Yeah, too. it'll okay. be fine. Yeah, because I know you y'all have rooms on different sides of the building, so. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. There's a building that blocks all the morning sun on my side, so uh, I just get like indirect sunlight. Okay. Yeah, that'll be fine. So how long until this is going to start spurting? So it oh, says Barbie. under basil, uh, nine weeks. Nine so weeks? So it's going to take okay. a little while. Wow. Yeah. But that's when, so it, no, it's going to start growing up within like a week. You'll see little plants little, growing little up within a week. But not until nine weeks when you get the like, like harvesting actually. Okay, so no picking it and trying to eat it. Don't yeah. let Adriana get hold of it. Yeah. 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 Did you like put it up higher in your new place? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's no highlight. Let's just saying that. <laughs> so, outside, though. and then yeah. when you guys get home, water them right away. They need to be watered right now. But I don't want to do it now because we poked holes in the bottom. So, um, it's going to be messy. Okay. Yeah. So where all the small plates are going to go. Um, and then, um, I don't know if you are wondering about when to water. I know everyone knows you should just water plants when when. I think just a good rule of thumb is um, if it starts getting dry, you can touch it and you can feel it's dry, it needs water. So a couple so times a week. Choice. Yeah, and especially in the beginning, right now when it's just a baby, you won't have to water it a lot, but once it gets older, so you should water when you get cold. How moist should they be first? For the basil, you just want to get it uh, get it pretty well wet. For the cilantro, it's going to need a lot of water. You want to so, soak it? You don't, you don't want to soak it, but what you want to do is pour the water in and then watch and see when the water comes out the holes. And once it starts coming out the holes, then it's soaked well enough. Okay. But basil doesn't need that much water because it can kind of drown easier. That makes sense? Yeah. It's really... You guys will figure it out. But, okay. <laughs> but just, yeah, make sure they don't dry out because I think that's the biggest thing that could go wrong is if they don't get enough water. So, basil is going to be nine weeks until it's ready, and cilantro is going to be less. It's going to be five to six weeks, which is on here. Um, so, let's go ahead and do the cilantro. What kind of temperature should it be at? What kind of temperature should it be at? Uh, inside the apartments is going to be perfect because. Growing indoors is going to be better for them. It's too cold outside right now. So we'd want to grow them inside anyways. And you can just, they're not going to get that big. So we can keep them inside for the duration. You got the kids in the little legs. Yeah, then everybody would be picking Yeah. <laughs> you don't get to reap any of the benefits. Cool. Okay, so we're going to do the cilantro the same way. Um, I do about four. Um, let's do actually three because these ones are bigger. And they... Precious. 